Alrighty boys, well we are currently on the road right now. We just grabbed some ice and uh, threw it in the cooler and now we're gonna go grab some fiddler crabs at the bait shop. So my plan for today is to literally jump in the Ginu, run out to some docks, we're gonna hop out and we're gonna wade some docks for some big sheep's head. If you guys remember like three, four videos back, well, I say sheep's head, but it could also be black drum, redfish, and a bunch of other things. But if you guys remember like three, four videos back, I uh, went wading for some snook with some live mullet and uh, I was seeing sheep's head literally everywhere. Everywhere I looked, I was walking through the docks and they were just everywhere, stacks, 100 per dock really. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and see if I can knock out a few. I'm probably gonna keep two or three. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be about it. So let's do this. Alrighty guys, well, uh, we are on the water right now. As you guys can see, it's pretty pretty calm, decent weather I'd say today. Um, sunny, but uh, a bit breezy, so should work. We should still be able to find fish. Uh, but what I'm gonna be throwing today is my 2500 Shimano Vanford on my seven foot medium split grip JM edition rod. You guys can grab that rod in the description. Uh, but basically what we're gonna be doing is uh, wading these docks, put on a fiddler crab, wait them, sneak up to these sheep's head, and uh, maybe red fish and maybe black drum as well. Toss that fiddler crab right in front of them and hopefully we'll just whack them one after the other today. So uh, something that's also kind of important today is, uh, today is my first day I would consider myself like a full-time YouTuber. So for the past two and a half years I've been making YouTube videos, I've either had work or school going on in the background. So. I mean, for now, in the next several months, I'll be just strictly worrying about YouTube and making the best videos I possibly can for you guys. And uh, today's gonna be the first one, so hopefully we're gonna get on them. Uh, I'll show you guys the rig here, what, how we're gonna be throwing these fiddler crabs, then uh, let's go. Alrighty, boys, well, the bait shop only had about two dozen fiddler crabs. Fiddler crabs are pretty cheap. You can't really catch them where I live, so I have to buy them. I wish you could catch them, but some places, some places you can definitely catch them. There's tons of them, but where I live, I gotta buy them. So we only got about two dozen, so I gotta make do with that. Usually I buy more because sheep's head can be very tricky fish to catch. They'll pick and pick away at this fiddler crab without taking them, and you will miss that hook set a good amount of time. So they're fun fish to catch because for that reason, because they are tricky. Uh, but I just actually talked to a homeowner on one of these docks, and he was like, there's sheep's head and black drum all over my dock. So we're in the right spot today. Oh my god, that's a huge sheep. Got him. <laughs> Stuck him. Jesus. Under the boat. <laughs> Dang. We're going to reverse out here and pull him out. That's a nice one. Yes, sir. Whew. That's a keeper. All right, boys. Well, knocked out the first sheep of the day right there. This is about a 16-incher. 
and uh, he came out from under that boat, which was kind of ridiculous. Uh, I waited way under that boat, and there were some giants, so hopefully they're still chilling under there, and uh, we're gonna go back under there, but this guy's gonna go in the cooler, and uh, not a bad sheep, not a bad sheep. All right, well, just hop back into the boat real quick because it just wasn't working out waiting. I think the wind has picked up a little bit, so it's kind of hard for me to see them unless I'm like really on top of them. So I'm just gonna cruise around on the trolling motor and just see what I can make happen here. It's kind of, if it was dead glass, I think I would be getting on them, but I just can't see them unless I'm like three feet away. So keep moving. So I just jumped on the trolling motor here and I found some, uh, found some buddies. Where did they go? Oh, there's one. Here guys, there's just three. Oh, there's one. Oh, one over there. So these guys are river otters. You don't see them too often, but when you find them, they're pretty friendly. That one's going up into the tree there. Oh, there's a big snook right there. I don't have anything to throw at him. There's actually a big snook right here, and then 20 feet behind him is a freaking otter that just ran up into the tree. <laughs> Two big snook. I don't think they're going to eat a fiddle crab. I guess I could try. There's a real nice sheep eating off this piling. I just can't get an angle on him. Oh, maybe I can right here. I got him. No, oh, it's not him. That's a littler one. <clears throat> Got eaten instantly, but not by the big one. I saw a little guy. I'll tell you what, guys, the wind has picked up, man. Picked up like crazy. Little guy, not what we want. Get out, get out. Yes, sir. Come here. I was holding on to the piling there. Hold on to the piling there, trying to freaking just keep the boat still, man. Keep the boat still, and I got a nice fish. Well, we got a nice puppy black drum right here. These guys are very good eating when they're small like this. And uh, I didn't say anything, but I noticed a good, a good school of them of probably like 20 or 30 cruising around under the dock there. And that's when I went ahead and held on to that piling there and just waited and waited. And uh, we got one. So he'll go in the cooler with the sheep's head here. And uh, I'm just making do with what I can do. It's 20 mile an hour winds out of the south right now. So like the whole river is blown out. So, you know, gotta do what I gotta do. So nice fish going in the cooler. All right, I switched to this little pink jig here. It's like an eighth of an ounce or something like that, maybe even a sixteenth of an ounce. Just helps me make some casts a little bit better in the wind. Like you guys can see here, it's white capping almost. We'll see if I can't find another fish under this big dock here though. Just saw another black drum here. Where did I see him? Down there? Yeah, down there. Oh, he ate it. Oof. Come on out. Freaking tons of them. There's like a hundred. <laughs> get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. <sighs> Tactical. Not easy in this wind. He'll keep two. This will be our third fish of the day. And then after this, we'll release any, any other fish we catch. 
that's a good size one to keep. The size limit for black drum is 14 to 24. Last fish was 16. This guy will probably be 18. Oh, he smoked it. It's like the second they see it, they inhale that fiddler crab. Swing them in here. Oh, perfect. All right, well, we are drifting away here from the dock pretty quickly, but that is going to be the last fish we keep of the day. I'm gonna keep fishing here, see if I can't get a few more. But uh, my goal is to get three sheep's head. I got one sheep's head, two puppy black drum. Decent day when I'm trying to go out and catch uh, catch some to eat for my family. Um, really, black drum, sheep's head, and mangrove snapper are the only three fish I'll keep out of the river. Um, mainly because I find them to be the most plentiful. Black drum, when you find them, they're usually in schools of usually hundreds. Um, and they're doing very well right now. Things like redfish, snook, and, and things like that I don't keep out of the river. But we're going to go ahead and get this guy back in the cooler here. And uh, maybe we can get another one. Maybe we can get a bigger one. They chewed the second it hit the bottom. See, they were sitting right in here. Oh, I might see one. Hold on. I think I see one. I'm just going to grab onto this piling here. Oh, huge ones. There's some big ones. They're hit. Oh, you want to eat it? They're rubbing against the line. You can almost see them here. Oh, one went down on it. Got him. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> shoot. <laughs> Gotta get out of the dock. <laughs> there were some nice ones, like 24 inches, and this guy thumped it. There are some nicer ones in there. I mean, I'll take this. I've been struggling today to find anything. And they're chewing the fiddler crabs. Freaking wrangling dockfish with light tackle is pretty fun. Oh. Oh. I'll take it. He's not huge or anything, but I'll take it. Another probably 20 inch fish, or maybe eh, 18 inch. We're right in the top of the lip there. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. A little puppy black drum. I'm gonna shoot him back here. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty fun. <laughs> oh, it's choppy, so I'm bouncing up and down. I'm trying to hold on to the piling while I pull the fish out with one hand. I think I hook set there with just one hand on the rod. Oh, all right. I'll go one more, one more because it's so fun. I want to get one of those fish that are like 25 inches that are in there. I wish I could pick out like a 25 inch or they're in here and then the, under them are the smaller ones and then the smaller ones grab it because I got to wait on. I don't feel like switching to a J hook though. Let's see if I can sneak out. There was a big sheep's head among them. Freaking imposter. Oh, I see him. Or are those mullet? I can't tell. No, those are them. Shoot, I just can't hold the boat still. I'm gonna fall in. Here they are, right here. One right down on. Plunked it. Oh, I pulled it out of his mouth. Shoot. The first one I missed. I pulled it right out of his mouth. I kind of got excited there. It's like instantly, the second they see it, they're just beeline to it and thump. But I missed him. Oh, I see one right here. I'm not eating off the pile. Not a big one. Or is it a big one? Oh, thumped it instantly. Jeez. Yo. It'll take me into the pile docks here. <laughs> Instant thump, dude. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Instant. Instant. <sighs> Whacking them, man. I could probably catch one after the other. <sighs> we got him. Well, that is going to be our final fish of the day right there. Oh, once again, not a big one. I don't know. There, there, there's a good amount of them that were probably 24 to 27 inches in there. And these guys like thump it when like the second it touches the water. 
it starts sinking down a foot and they're beeline to it. Usually black drum, I wouldn't say aren't that super aggressive, but they're super aggressive today. Um, but you know, they always eat fiddler crabs and stuff like that. So we're gonna go ahead and get this guy back in the water. Good release. And uh, yeah, we'll wrap this up. See ya. All right, guys. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And uh, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. And uh, I'm a little out of breath. All right, so just keep it, keeping the boat still, reaching for the trolling motor, trying to hold onto the pilings there. <laughs> Pretty tough, but we knocked out a couple fish, which is all I wanted to do today. It's a week or a weekend day, so there's a lot of boat traffic, and uh, we got it done, especially in the windy weather. That was not not fortunate. That was not fortunate at all. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and uh, that's gonna be it. I will see you guys in that next video.